So there, there is a, um, uh, there's a team here from the uh, Environmental Protection Agency. Yeah, okay. Here they are, come on up. Hi, we're in Bonn, the capital of West Germany. West Germany doesn't exist anymore. Oh, right. But Bonn still is a city. And it's the city where the United Nations still has a big compound. And we're here for the annual United Nations Climate Conference. Well, that makes it too easy. And we're speaking to an audience who will think that we represent Trump's Environmental Protection Agency. We're about to inform these Europeans how we Americans are going to help them with two of their biggest problems, climate change and, and refugees. refugees. We were a little bit nervous going on stage because these people hate the Trump administration. Yeah. I know Europe's not a country, but this agreement will cons concern both of our countries. Both of our countries. I'm trying <laughs> to figure that's this good. out. Our original plan was to have an actual refugee from Africa or Syria to pedal the bike, but the organizers were really afraid of that idea. So, we had a guy named Holger do so instead. Yes, yeah, just one volunteer, somebody who's willing to pedal. But during this presentation, we are going to offset the energy used um, by the computer. All right, great, we have a volunteer. Thank you, All sir. Right. Come on up, what's, uh, what's your name? My name is Holger. Holger, okay. I'm here uh, with a company called Sun Farming. Uh, Sun Farming. What's the name of the company? Sun Farming. Oh Sun, Sun Farming. farming. Thank Great, you. thank you. So come over here. Um, and so uh, if you just keep a, just a very basic pace throughout the presentation um, and just sit back and enjoy it and pedal. All right, thank you. As we got rolling, people seemed a little bit confused and then angry. You know, regardless of what we all might believe, you have 98% 98.6% of the population that believes in it, but it's not just belief. It's worry, anxiety, and it's fear. Some of them were clearly really offended, and that's how we wanted it to be. Es gibt geschmacklose Witze und es gibt geschmacklose Kunst. Und das war beides. And then came the really offensive parts. This time with a pure market solution that makes everyone feel good. Please watch. Collectively, we face global warming and a huge migrant crisis. Refuge Greenergy has a solution. With Refuge Greenergy, we provide you with green energy and refugees with jobs. At the center of Europe, Brussels is the perfect place to launch a product like this. Je me sens un peu redevable puisque la Belgique m'a offert un séjour. Je me sens redevable des Belges et des Bruxellois notamment. Je me dis OK, si à travers mes jambes, mes coups de pédale sur le vélo, je peux leur offrir ce cadeau là. J'ai dit d'accord et voilà, je leur offre ce cadeau en pédalant sur mon vélo, en leur offrant de l'énergie énergie de qualité, l'énergie verte du modèle des mini-jobs en Allemagne, statut légal qui a été créé spécialement pour les réfugiés euh, et qui permet de les faire travailler dans des conditions plus flexibles. In 2050, there will be 250 millions of, of uh, refugees because of climate change. Refuge Greenergy. Let's get used to it. Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency is taking a 50% stake in uh, Refuge Greenergy for Europe because it's an instance of the revolutionary capitalist inventiveness that piggybacks on government technologies to produce vigorous solutions to multiple problems at once. <laughs> Our point in doing this seemed to be coming across, but we wanted to make sure. Uh, it can offset the energy of this presentation, but what about the real needs of our society? Well, it's a fully scalable system. 
as refugees increase, as so-called climate change impacts homelands and creates yet more refugees, they can be located into fields for the concentration of energy that will make electricity costs more competitive. It's an elegant cycle. It's good for business, good for the conscience, and good for the market. Of course, the very best thing about Refuge Green Energy is that it's a perfect exemplar of the sort of market solution we have at our fingertips, in which the magic of commerce can flush its way through corroded government plumbery. Well, I do have a question about sustainability. Uh, do you have any numbers uh, about the CO2 equivalents that refugees may produce due to climate crisis if they push the temperature level below, they, there won't be any additional refugees. So may it not be an unsustainable oh. project? Yeah. <laughs> you got us. <laughs> At the end, we decided to reveal the joke, and we've never done that before, but these people were really well-meaning people who want to fix climate change. Good luck with this uh, message. You can quote us. You can quote our, our department head, Scott Pruitt. You mm. can quote his boss, Donald Trump. The quotes are freely given, and the record wow. is freely given. Well, good luck in the next two weeks of negotiations uh, presenting <laughs> this um, concept. And um, We think this will win. It's a diverse world, right, I guess? Thank so. you. And we're going to assume that everybody in the audience knows that we're not with the uh, EPA, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, if you still think we're with the EPA, this Reason. is a good moment <laughs> to let you know that this is, the, this is the, the comedic theatrical intervention in your workshop, and uh, I mean in your conference. You know, we, we came here with the intention to criticize these market solutions, um, and it, it's, it's really an honor to be here with people who are working towards solutions to these problems, um, which we've been... Uh, also agitating and activating on for years, um, but uh, but it really is about you know it is about a serious point that we tried to make. The problem is some of them still seem to believe in the magic of the market and how if you just let the market figure it out, it'll come up with great solutions. But that's false. We don't need public-private partnerships. We don't need partnerships with corporations. We need to tell them what to do. That's democracy. In the U.S., both major parties embraced free market thinking, and a lot of people felt left out. That's what led to Trump. We don't want to see the same mistake being made here. Actually, as from the beginning, I, I, I thought, yeah, this is real, and that, that can be, wow. We could end it with one of those self-referential things where we talk about ending it. Oh, yeah. And then, then everybody the, feels like it's, it's over. They're, they're part of In the, fact, they, they, they wonder why we didn't end it a few, like a... 12 seconds ago, or right. 20 seconds ago now. Yeah, well, we didn't because the broadcaster wanted exactly three minutes. Right, it had to be precise. Yeah, so that's why we're continuing and okay. ending this video now. No, no, now. Oh, sorry, now. Bye. <laughs>